Hi. So in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, regarding a salary report. Uh, um, you know, this is a report I've received from one of the subscribers here on this channel, Robin. So thanks, Robin, for sending me. Uh, this is a report, uh, salary report uh, for quant risk modeling professionals uh, compiled by one of the research firm. I think they have done their research for uh, the entire banking sector and they have also uh, a section on people working in the modeling area, so how much they make in India. Right? I hope that this is correct. I hope that they have taken a good sample for this survey. Um, of course, there are different nuances to it. I'm, I'm going to discuss about that. Uh, but I think by and large, I, I I fully agree with these figures. I think it does represent. There are also variations, by the way, you know. Um, you know, it, it, when you do a compilation, I think you always have uh, the issue of averaging things, right? You take the mean or the average of uh, everything and, you know, that may not represent the whole story. Uh, but let's, let's talk about that, right? So the first uh, table, as you see on the screen, is about MNC banks and cap units. You know, MNC banks include uh, Deutsche Bank, Citibank, Morgan Stanley, Goldman Sachs, uh, Northern Trust, you know, UBS, HSBC, Barclays, and NatWest. So these are the MNC banks uh, which are uh, present in India. Um, um, yeah, in market risk, yeah, for at ABB level, uh, yeah, the minimum is 25 lakhs, maximum is 40 lakhs, average is 29 lakhs. Okay. Um, that's quite decent salary, I would say. But let me also tell you that the salaries vary with, uh, you know, the vary with banks, actually. You know, U.S. banks pay more. The Swiss banks, like, you know, Credit Suisse, UBS, they also pay quite well. But the U.K. and the European banks, they do not pay as good as the U.S. banks. At least that's been my experience. Maybe things have changed over the years. Uh, but that's something, uh, you know, that used to be the case when I used to work in India. Okay, so, but they're still quite good, like 40 lakhs, I mean, you're making 30 lakhs on average at an AVP level. I think nowadays you can become an AVP in the about three to four, four year time, so even five years time. So three to five years time, you become an AVP. Uh, why not? It's 30 year on 30 lakhs on average is quite good salary. On credit risk side, actually, it's less compared to market risk. Uh, that's what, uh, that was the case in India when I was there. Uh, if you are in uh, market risk or trading risk, you make more money, about 10 to 20 percent more uh, compared to you know the guys working in in credit risk. But even within creditors, uh, what you see is that people working in the corporate credit risk side, they make more money compared to the retail guys. Okay, uh, I think the corporate credit risk guys make uh, I think around 20 percent more uh, than the retail credit guys. Okay, so if you're building models for uh, for uh, corporate clients, okay, um, for financial institutions, for sovereign clients, for uh, large corporates, project finance, uh, commodity finance clients, then you make more money compared to let's say building models for credit card customers, uh, auto loan customers, uh, home loan customers, um, or mortgages. Um, that's also the thing, right? Even within creditors, for instance, if you're a model developer, you make more money compared to, let's say, you're doing monitoring work or doing implementation work, right? Um, that's also something to keep in mind, right? Um, operational risk, or for that matter, any other risk within uh, within the bank, I think they make more or less the same salary as the credit. I think the trading and market guys, they make a bit more compared to the other, uh, yeah, other areas of risk um, it, also it depends about uh, the demand and supply right I think about uh, seven to eight years back you know people who used to work in IFRS 9 or you know the ECL calculations models they used to make a bit more money than you know the people who are on the um, advanced IRB side so that used to be the case on the market side also people who work on more exotic products they make more money, right? It also depends on what's your specialization, what uh, which asset class you are specialized in, right? Uh, so there also you you have this uh, you know differences in the salaries. <clears throat> okay, uh, at a vice president level, you make anywhere between thirty five lakhs to sixty five lakhs on average, forty eight lakhs, fifty lakhs. You know that's something you can expect at VP level. Uh, not bad, I would say. But I think if you're working at uh, you know big investment bank like UBS and and Morgan Stanley and and 
you know credit suisse well credit suisse no longer there but um, yeah like us us banks the us in uh, investment banks or the japanese banks such as namura then you make around i think towards the upper end which is about 60 65 70 lakhs i actually know people who even make about uh, close to one cr working as uh, as a vice president in in the investment banks in in modeling area by the way okay again there also you see uh, a difference in the salaries between uh, people in credit risk and market risk right uh, at the direct level yeah uh, you see it is anywhere between 60 to 85 lakhs uh, on the credit side it's about 50 to 80 so on the, on the senior level right once you become senior i think the salaries uh, do not vary that much between credit and market and credit uh, or market or everything else right whereas uh, at the more uh, junior level uh, that is the dif- that's also because uh, the demand supply gap right there are more people specialized in credit modeling compared to that in the market modeling okay that's uh, that's one reason right uh, let me also tell you this is not the case in your offer instance uh, whether you are doing market risk modeling or credit risk modeling you make pretty much the same salary so that's uh, a very unique thing about india india is simply because the, the the demand supply gap in the in the in the job in the industry um there's simply not many people who are skilled in in market risk modeling and hence you have high salaries there or the premium that you have to pay on the trading risk side in fact it's even higher somewhat but okay let's combine them into just one market risk um all right which is good right at director level Uh, you can become a director uh, at the age of let's say uh, i mean after having experience of about uh, 15 years you can aim to become a director and that's where you make uh, really good money like 70 lakhs to 1 cr in that range uh, right at managing director level which is uh, would used to be very rare actually in india uh, not uh, i mean i mean not most mnc back used to have managing director maybe just a few in india but now the things have changed quite dramatically i know in jp morgan there are like so many executive directors managing directors so they make salary upward of 1 cr uh, in india uh, and this is i assume this is all base salary right on top of that you also get bonus which could be about 10 to 20% right and let me know if you the numbers are a bit uh, odd if you are already working in this uh, in india in one of these ms mnc bank please please comment if these numbers look okay or things have changed because i haven't worked in india for a long time so i don't know what thing how things have changed but uh, what i hear from my friends yes i think m- at my experience i think you are either a senior vice president or a director uh yeah most of my colleagues uh, former colleagues uh, they are making anywhere between 50 lakhs to 80 lakhs in that range exceptional cases one or two cases where who are making one cr and one cr plus but if you work at uh, more uh, tier 2 banks right um, uh, not as big banks as let's say jp jp morgan or not as you know uh, international as jp morgan is then uh, i think you make uh, about 20% less salary or maybe 10 to 20% in that range uh, for instance in market risk for in tier 2 banks it's like 20 uh, average about 27 in credit it's about 24 Uh, at a vp level also you see there is a difference uh, even at the senior level it there is a difference um, right uh, surprisingly at the managing director level the salaries for tier 1 banks and tier 1 tier 2 banks uh, they are pretty similar okay so that's uh, interesting uh about how about analytics and consulting firms right uh there you know as expected you the salaries are great in fact uh, at a director level or partner level you make really good money but at junior level i think the salaries are not as great as this they you know um, they are in in big mnc banks so that's exactly what i've seen right if you work at kpmg ui the junior level salaries are not that great but once you become director senior manager or partner junior partner you make killing money there um but at junior level it's it's not that great right so if you can start your career in a big mnc bank work there for about 10 years 
and then move to consulting, become a senior manager. Maybe in five years time or six year, eight years time, you can become a partner there. Like that's a good career, career path, especially in India. It's not obviously easy in other places, but in India, that's quite possible. I know people working for 10 years in big MNC bank, they make good money, initial money, and then they move to consulting. You know, that's where actually you, your leadership skills, your career growth will be even, even faster. Uh, but, but, you know, consulting is not for everyone. So, you know, also keep that in mind. All right. So that's uh, quite good information, I would say, uh, even for me. Uh, I remember uh, close co a very uh, close colleague of mine, you know, he uh, received a, an offer of around 40 lakhs from Citibank uh, in 2019. And that was a surprise to me because uh, that was pre-COVID, right? 40 lakhs was still a great money. And not uh, many companies in India were offering that kind of salaries, even then in 2019. I think things have changed quite a bit uh, after COVID, right? Things, uh, the salaries have gone up, uh, salaries have doubled, uh, literally. But uh, I was surprised that Citibank, which is not a big paymaster as far as my knowledge goes, uh, even they offered a salary of 40, 40 lakhs. But that, then that was more on... Uh, uh, on uh, stress testing and you know building a scenario forecasting macroeconomic modeling all those uh, very very niche in area so probably because of that they offered but things have changed uh, immensely from them uh, now i think even um, you know banks like standard chartered who again are, you know not very uh, great at pay, paying a money a lot of money or in atwest uh, or some of the European banks, for example, Deutsche Bank, they are also paying quite quite well, right? Also depends on where, right? Location, right? Mumbai or Bangalore. Like most of the jobs, these jobs are located in Mumbai. But I have heard that uh, now banks are all moving to Hyderabad and Bangalore, uh, Pune as well. Many are there in Gurgaon, in Delhi, in Shiar area. So maybe their, you know, salary of... 50 lakhs is different compared to salary of 50 lakhs in Mumbai, right? It's the cost of living uh, is quite different. So you might also see a variation there in, in the salaries offered, right? All right, that's a, I, I hope that it helps because a lot of the guys uh, ask me about starting salaries in, in quant modeling. By the way, this is only in risk management area, right? Uh, I know in salaries are quite different in, uh, in in the trading and research area. For example, if you work as a quant in BlackRock, num the number could be different. And and if you work as a quant in let's say in one of the uh, you know insurance firm AIG, numbers could be different. Um, okay, uh, there are some boutique research firms. They also pay quite quite well. Um, there are uh, at a senior level, right? I know, see at senior level, even the IT firms like Accenture and, and TCS and Infosys, even they hire, you know, experienced finance professional, modeling professional, they pay really good money, like close to a one CR salary. Okay, thanks, thanks guys, thanks for watching. If you have, in case you have questions, please don't hesitate to ask me in the comment section or reach out to me, thanks guys.